guys, today I'm looking at one really nice Monsters 360mm AIO liquid cooler that not only offers good performance, but looks really pretty as well without overdoing the RGB lighting. Let me introduce you the brand new Enermax LickTech 2360 in black. That one should be able to cope with a TDP of over 500 watts. At the time of this video, this thing currently comes in at about 160 US dollars, sometimes less, sometimes more. And of course, the LickTech 2 can be picked up in a few different versions, or rather radiator sizes, such as 240 and 280 millimeters. And something very special for fans of the color white, the 360 variant is also available in all white. So I already gave away this cooler has power to offer, but how much of it and at what noise level, that's something we still have to talk about. There's a whole bunch of nice stuff included. Unlike with the previous Lick Fusion by Enermax that I've tested, we do not get anything to refill the cooling unit here, but that's something we're used to and see many manufacturers do. Anyway, besides the liquid cooler, we do receive three fans, all the mounting hardware needed for Intel and AMD CPUs, and what can't be missing is a Y fan cable, RGB controller, and all the needed cables and adapters for it. A bit of thermal paste is included as well, and and obviously the manual. The radiator is looking really nice, I'm surprised how much still can be done to radiators on the outside to improve them. On both sides there are rubber pads to reduce vibration noise and such pads can also be found on the fans. I really would like more manufacturers jump on that bandwagon and do something like that. A bummer that neither on the water block nor on the radiator there are any metal fittings. But to be fair most manufacturers do that, with exceptions being be quiet and fractal design for instance. I sometimes complain on a very high level. A real beauty on the other hand is that shiny water block slash pump. Aesthetically speaking, this has to be the prettiest design I've seen on an AIO liquid cooler so far. The water block simply looks somewhat minimalistic and yet eye catchy at the same time with that nice acrylic cover and decently portioned RGB lighting. We are talking of ARGB by the way, so that's addressable RGB and actually there's nothing else that lights up. The fact Fans remain dark. All that ARGB bling bling can be connected to your motherboard, but 5V ARGB needs to be supported. So please do not mix up that connection with the 4 pin 12V header. And since some of you surely will be asking, yes, ASUS Aura Sync, ASRock Polychrome Sync, Gigabyte RGB Fusion, and MSI Mystic Light Sync are all fully supported. However, not all of us actually own a motherboard equipped with one of those new 5V ARGB headers. And that's where Energy Max comes in again. They kindly include an RGB controller that comes with 10 effects and brightness as well as speed of those effects can be controlled. But enough of lighting, the pump is interesting too. We are looking at an EF1 pump with a ceramic bearing that should be capable of a flow rate as high as 450 liters an hour. It's always nice seeing those sleeve tubes, rubber ones in this case, and the length at 400 millimeters doesn't seem bad at all. Obviously the most recent Intel as well as AMD sockets are supported, but despite this cooler having a relatively large copper base, TR4 for Threadripper isn't on the support list. If that's what you're looking for, you probably should take a look at the LickTech TR4 II by Enermax. The installation has always went all hassle-free. It is more or less perfection, I'd say, and it was pretty fast this time around. And even though the following question typically answers itself with liquid coolers, interference with memory is not nothing you need to worry about here. I easily could have installed 4 modules, even though the spacing does appear to be quite close. Now there's only cooling performance and noise level left to talk about. So for those of you that were hoping for some kind of out of this world performance by a 360mm radiator, I unfortunately have to disappoint you. Sure, my overclocked i7-7700K may not be the ideal CPU for CPU cooler comparisons anymore, but it still does run hot at least. The thing with 360mm versions of liquid coolers is that when having your CPU run under high loads for a longer period of time, so at higher temperatures, you will see better results with a 360 
60mm radiator than with a 241. Were I to carry out the testing for more than a few hours, we'd be looking at slightly different results. Another aspect we need to factor in with 360mm is noise level. Since we are dealing with a larger cooling surface, the fans do not need to spin as fast as on a 240mm radiator variant for instance to achieve the same level of cooling. Meaning the fans can in fact spin at a lower fan speed, allowing for one system to be quieter by quite a bit. And let me tell you, the Liktec 2 for sure is quiet. The fans at idle are dead silent and only are audible at high CPU loads, but definitely not loud as far as I'm concerned. Only the pump is slightly louder than what I'm usually used to, but not a single time did that bother me. Well, one thing sure, the Liktec 2 360 does deliver very good cooling performance. While it cannot quite match the top of the top, such as be quiet silent loop 360mm, it does manage to keep up fairly well with the differences not being that big. One could for sure say this is a powerful 360mm unit. Especially in terms of looks, this AIO cooler really managed to impress me. As I've said before, I love the design and it's nice having not so much over the top RGB once in a while. Don't get me wrong, I like RGB, but all good can be too much sometimes. But then again, lighting can always be turned off anyway. Another thing I get asked fairly frequently is, how reliable are AIO coolers in general? That's a question difficult to answer. To do so, we'd have to test those coolers for months, if not years. I mean, one can always have bad luck, and I've had many, many all-in-one liquid coolers. So far, only two of those have died. More precisely, the pumps did. All others run perfectly fine. Well, priced at $160, I don't think there's much you can do wrong with this Enermax Liktec 2360. The overall package seems good to me, and this unit did score enough points in my test to receive my gold award. Definitely not enough for platinum though. And as always, of course, thanks so much for watching.